welcome back to my channel so for today's video it's gonna be something different different ba? or ano um i'm gonna get i'm gonna take you guys to to another journey so i'm gonna take you guys into a new journey with me which is college so hindi ako masyadong mag update sa inyo so eto na nga this is to start to mag update na ako from now on so you guys didn't know that I actually moved out from house, from my parents' house now. I'm actually living in another town, which is like two to three hours away, two to three hours drive away from them. So, nandito ako ngayon sa place kung saan ako natira. This is a shared house. So, basically, I am sharing with two other people. We're all Asians here and all girls then. So, I have one from Indonesia and one from Malaysia. Yun yung mga housemates ko. So I'm taking the chance to tour you around the house because I'm not here anymore. So sorry then, kung mas dong ano yung voice ko, medyo antaog don. Medyo may sakit kasi ako so kaya ano na. Um, so I'm gonna tour you around kung into the new environment that I'm staying. So and also I'm gonna show you some clips during the orientation day, which is. Last Monday, sa university kung saan ako nag-aaral for college. And actually, this coming Monday, magsistart na yung classes namin. So, doon, dadalhin ko din kayo. Sana lang, sana hindi ako makiang mag-video sa mga classes ko. And, yun na nga. So, if you guys don't know, I am gonna, I, I will be studying Bachelor of Nursing at University of Southern Queensland in Toowoomba. So, basically, itong bahay na tinitiran ko, it's just right across the university. Sa my back gate nila. Uh, talagang walking distance nang siya. Pero, itatry ko munang mag-walk para malaman ko kung saan yung rooms ko for, ano, kasi hindi pa pala ako nag guys. Friday na ngayon. Maybe tomorrow, I'll try to tour around the... Uh, the university para alam ko kung saan ako pupunta at hindi ako mali. Ganon. So, ang dami ko nang satsat. So, ito na nga. Itutour ko na kayo habang wala pa yung housemates ko. So, yan yung entrance ng bahay. Ito yung door namin. Ang nalit lang there. Ito naman po yung living room namin. Yan yung living room namin. Basically, hindi siya masyadong nagagamit kasi we all stay, we all stay in our rooms. So, yan. Lahat ng gamit nito kasama na siya pagdating namin. So, yan yung space. Ito yung little dining room namin. Tatlo lang naman kami sa bahay. Parang counter. Aircon. Ito yung kitchen namin. Pantry. Ayan, magkaano yan. So, sa akin yan, sa Kaili yan, tapos kay Karen yan. Ganun. So, parang may pa, ano lang, assigned ano lang. Rice cooker, syempre, rice is life. Ayan. Dishwasher, hindi naman namin nagamit. Kasi we're Asians, so we're used to wash dishes, sink, microwave. Tapos pala mga utensils, meron na din guys. So, hindi ka na talaga magdadala. Ayan, meron na siya. Meron na din mga plato guys, kasama na siya. So, hindi ka na mag-aabal ang magdala-dala. Pero ako, my mom bought some plates for me para sa akin. So, ayan po yung likod namin. Ayan siya. Tapos, ito yung hallway. Tapos, on your left, dyan yung toilet. Ito yung toilet. Magkaiba po talaga. Yung toilet tsaka bathroom dito sa Australia. Ito yung laundry namin. Ito yung wash. I mean, yung what you call this washing machine. Ito yung dryer. So, pag umuulan, hindi problema. Meron din mga extra ano dyan. Pero, I have my own vacuum mop eto na go collect ako ng ganito guys kasi yung water na ginagamit ko is um, ano tawag dito 
mineral water hindi ako nanginom sa tap kasi hindi ko lang gusto tapos yan may plancha ay kabay kabayo pala plancha ayan so ayan yung laundry tapos yung harap naman ng laundry is yung bathroom so may bathtub ayan so same scenario pa rin na naka-assign so ayan kay Lee sa akin tapos kay Karen tapos meron extra ano dyan Yan yung mirror. Tapos yan yung sa akin. Yan yung kay Lee. Ganun lang. Tsaka may konting ano kami dyan. Plant. <laughs> ano na to palang ano. Pat sa akin yan nilagay ko pink. Kasi pabae naman kami lahat dito. Yan. Yan. Yan lang. Tapos ito yung ito yung room ni Lee, which is from Malaysia. Ito yung kay Karin, which is from Indonesia. Tapos, ito yung sa akin. So, pag napasok mo sa room, bed agad. Laban natin. Bed agad. Tapos, sa likod, andyan yung towels ko. Madami yung towels, guys. Kasi, para sa buhok, sa katawan, robe, just in case, um, hindi ako magdadala ng clothes para sa face ko. Tapos, Yan, kasama na yan sa room. side table ko. Ayan yung spray, yung diffuser. Dito, wala masyadong laman yan. Ayan. So, yung dalawang una neto sa akin. Yung dalawa, sa kanila. Yung bed, kasali na din siya dito sa room, guys. Tapos, dito naman sa desk ko. Ayan na yung napakakapal kong book na sa bayo na subject ko. Yan yung bigay sa akin ni Andre nung Valentine. Ito panalo ni Andre nung... Hindi, sa mga arcade panalo niya. May sarili akong printer, guys. Kailangan yan. So, ayan yung mga markers ko. Yung stylus ko para sa laptop. Uh, extra ink para sa printer. Ayan yung schedule ko na may mga photos namin. So, yan. Tuesday lang talaga yung vacant ko, guys. Tapos, inspirational. <laughs> Tapos, hindi pwede makita yan kasi sa school ko yan. <laughs> Ayan yung ano, mga Sherba Bells. Dito naman yung parang sa vanity side ko. <laughs> may truck. Yan yung sa vanity ko. So, makeup, mga everyday use. Ganon. Sunscreen, brushes. Sherba Bells. Mga accessories ko. Mga curlers ko na sa baba. Eto naman yung sarili kong basuran. Kasali na din to guys. Nandito yung bond paper ko. Mga notebooks and Sherba Bells. And mga school stuff pa rin yan. Eto naman personal stuff. So yung laptop. Eto kasali din to sa house. Dala ko sarili kong electric fan. And eto po yung closet ko. So wag nga natin buksan. We'll do that in another video. <laughs> so, yun. Ganun lang. Ganun lang kalit yung house. So, yun lang. Ganun lang kalit house. Very simple. And, yung rent ko dito, sakto lang din. $150 a week. Kasala na yung bills. So, yung internet, yung tubig, lahat-lahat. So, yun lang mabayaran ko every week. Which is every Friday. Uh, tapos, yung car ko nakapark sa sa covered car park na ng bahay and what's what's uh what ano ba and what's good is yung may ari talaga ng bahay katabi lang namin they just live the next door so if we have any problem any question nandiyan lang sila and sila na din yung nagmo-mo ng <coughs> ng grass namin yung mga extra stuff basta kami dito lang kami sa loob ng bahay ganun How was it living home alone or away from parents? Okay lang naman. At first, medyo nakihirapan ako kasi syempre, sanay tayo na pagising natin. Alam mo yun, makikita mo yung parents mo. <laughs> and then, when you need something, you can always ask anytime. And then, yung, namimiss ko yung sa living room, sabay-sabay kami nanonood, or pag sa dining, sabay-sabay kami kumakain. Hindi kasi ganun dito. Kasi nga, kanya-kanyang buhay. <laughs> um, ayun lang, namimiss ko yung mga sigaw ng maka ko. Karina, gumising ka na! Karina, magluto ka na! Magluto ka na! Ganyan, namimiss 
ko. Um, from time to time, may sarili naman kaming family group chat. So, we always update each other there. Ganun. Um, um, this is actually the best thing as well for 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 us. Kasi my sister moved out as well and my brother. So, basically, yung parents ko nalang naiwan sa bahay. Um, kasi matututo talaga, matututo maging independent. So, in the nearest future, parang alam mo na kaya ng anak kong mag, ano, kaya ng anak mong mag-live on her own or on his own. Um, yun. We still will see each other. We plan every time na magkikita-kita kami, ganun. Um, so, I'm already tw turning 22 this May. Ngayon lang ako magka-college. Um, there, there's a point in my life na I doubted myself. <laughs> Pumunta sa point na yung sinabi ko sa sarili ko, oh my gosh, yung mga uh, kabatchmate ko sa Pilipinas, go graduate at sila ng college, now they're working. Ay, ako kailan kaya ako magka-college? Um, I've graduated high school or so called year 12, 5 years ago na all I've done is work, work, work lang. Alam mo yun? So, parang Ewan. <laughs> Pero through the process naman. Sa so five years na yun, hindi lang naman ako standby. So, I'm working. I studied age care, which I worked as an assistant in nursing. So, ngayon, nag-upgrade na lang ako. Um, yung lesson dun is, ano, um, huwag kang, don't depend your, ano, your, your achievements in other people's achievements. Ganon. Like, everybody ran their own path. In their own time, kung hindi man kayo magkasabay, narating yung point na ikaw naman sa susunod. Mga ganun. So, yun. Sa mga ibang ano dyan, ibang tao, huwag nyo na lang i-compare yung sarili nyo sa iba. Kasi magkaiba kayong tao. Siya yun, siya. At ikaw to, ikaw. So, yun. Um, I'm just so excited to start this new journey. Kasi matagal din matagal ko din inantay ito at, matagal, at hindi lang ako yung magiging accomplished as a person pag natapos ko to pati yung parents ko I know there be they will be the number one people or person na magiging masaya for me and my success is their success so for sure they're gonna be so proud which is yun talaga yung goal ko in life as sabi ko I will never be fulfilled as a daughter kung hindi ko maibigay yung gusto ng parents ko which is for me to finish school which is basically college di ba um, natagalan lang kami kasi mahal kasi talaga yung college dito sa Australia so inantay namin maging permanent residence kami I mean maging citizen kami para makapagutang kami sa government which they called HEX which is ano yung government muna yung magbabayad sa buong tuition mo for 3 years or hanggang matapos ka ng college and then pag nakapagtrabaho ka na after ano after graduating from college na pag nakapagtrabaho ka na slowly dinadedak nila yung sweldo mo para mabayar mo yung utang mo pero hindi naman mabigat yun kasi nagsasubtract lang sila sa sweldo mo like kinukunan lang nila yung sweldo mo pag umabot siya sa certain amount na alam nilang kakayanin mo pa na alam mo yun na hindi ka din maihirapan so yun magandang privilege ba? so yun it has been a long 5 years and now I'm starting this journey in my life I'm so excited and gagawin ko ang lahat <laughs> kahit mahirapan man ako Alam mo yun, di tayo magsasalita ng tapos. Alam naman natin, we all have struggles, lalo na studies. And it's been long five years since naging full-time student ako. So, good luck to me, I guess. Oh, so, I'll show you guys pala my uniform in school. So, sa school, we got three kinds of uniform. And we use this on our laboratory classes. So, classes that we do laboratory stuff. So, we have polo shirt. Ganto siya. My logo ng school ko. And it's a nursing student. And ano siya, dry fit. So, maganda. 
basically I'm gonna wear this in class more often. So yeah, University of Southern Queensland. Next, we have scrub. Siyempre, there's tayo. Same thing, we have ganyan. This one, basically, I'm gonna use for placement. Kung saan nag work experience ka na. Ganyan. And then, we have this formal shirt as well. Polo lang siya, guys. Na same thing, ganyan. And ito talaga yung kulay ng college ko. Ganyan. So, basically, pag mag, ano, pag mag work experience or placement, you can use this, like the three of them. Depende sa, sa pagtatrabahuan mo, ganyan. Kung ano yung require nila. So, yeah, guys, I'm just so excited, and I hope you guys do are excited for me. Um, hang on lang kayo dyan. Um, there will be more videos about my college life, mga tips for students that are away from home. So, eto, 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 buhay ng isang Pilipinang sudyante sa Australia. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope I inspired you, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if ano yung gusto nyong gawin kong video. Mga ganon. Thank you guys. I'll see you again next on my upcoming video.